Hello and welcome to a video showing you how to set up an Amatron 3 terminal for variable rate utilizing an Omnia Connect Mark 1. So first off I'm going to put a USB stick into the side of the terminal. This is a blank USB stick, uh, 4 gig I believe. And what the reason for putting that in is because it helps with the job computer setup. So what I'm going to do in this instance is I need to go into the settings of the terminal to turn on the job computer. So I'm going into basic settings and then I'm going to turn on the job computer by clicking the enter button here. Once I've clicked that the system needs to reboot. So we'll let this shut down and when we do turn the terminal back on again it will it will bring through um, a new icon on the right hand side of the screen allowing us the job computer. Now once that job computer is visible we need to set up a job in that particular um, icon. So we'll just wait for the screen to boot up and you can now see that we've got that job computer icon. We'll just wait for the um, terminal to catch up and once it has done so, we then go to our job. Uh, we're pressing F2 for this particular one. And then in here, we've already started a job, but where you see the red square, that is where we would start a job if it was um, a green uh, triangle. So in, in there, we have what we call a set, set points. Um, it's important that we have sensor sensor here rather than um, three dots. So you can actually go into the set points and set them up but generally if, as a rule of thumb those should populate if we've got the job computer turned on and the um, GPS element pulling from the NMEA uh, part of the terminal. Um, so once we've got those set up we can then go through to the spreader and in this spreader screen where it says nominal quantity we can then go over to our iPad we ensure that the board rate on the iPad is exactly the same. Uh, I think this particular terminal took 19200. Again, I'm pressing the satellite and to send a dummy rate on the plan. So when I tap on the map, it sends the rate through to the terminal. Now, this, the rate's been sent, and as you can see, it marries up with the iPad. So we now know that the two are talking. Hopefully this video of the Amatron 3 setup has given you a bit of an insight as to what actions you need to switch on to be able to do variable rate on the Amatron 3 box. Various different softwares um, do act differently. The earlier software doesn't actually need a USB stick in the side of the terminal but for this particular one a USB stick in the side of the terminal, job uh, computer turned on and then a job started and then we can send the rate uh, because the set points say sensor sensor. Um, so in that sense, a really successful stop, a quick stop, but um, as always, on to the next box.